Welcome to Silicon Valley Asian Business Talk. So Dr. Conwell Ricky, and uh, welcome, and thank you for coming to talk to us. We really appreciate you spending time with us. Yeah, thank you for inviting me, and it's my pleasure. So Dr. Ricky, why don't you kind of briefly introduce yourself to our audience? Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm Conwell Ricky. You know, I've been here in the Valley since 1971. Hardcore engineer by training, IIT Bombay, and became an entrepreneur in 1982. Yeah, at the dawn of the PC revolution, networking revolution, you know, we pioneered the computer networking. You know, our company was a pioneer in the computer networking, and so we drew you know, with with the networking. We were the set of the foundational technologies for the internet and went public in 1987, first Indian American to take company public in 87. And uh, our company was eventually acquired by Novell, so I was at Novell you know, for about five years, six years, and, uh, and, and yeah, retired in 1995, early mm -hmm. on, and became active in the startup ecosystem, mentoring entrepreneurs, help start Thai, and uh, yeah, yeah, interest you know, Indian Americans to become entrepreneurs rather than, than yeah, 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 job seekers. And I've been doing that now for 25, 27 years. Discussion topic, when do startups have opportunities and how to treat competition? The first question is about uh, you know, competition in meaning how should uh, new venture companies uh, deal with strategy competition more specifically uh, balancing or uh, dealing with the two kind of issues because in one of your interviews you talk about uh, it was a fatal flaw for many entrepreneurs to ignore competition and uh, so with that uh, what's your view okay. or advice between monitoring competitors moves and respond okay. versus following yeah. customer, discovering their needs, yeah. which one should venture company primary uh, focus so, on? So, so tell, tell, let, let me do, uh, give you the wider perspective. Mm. The entrepreneurs thrive in a rapidly changing environment. Mm, mm. If the environment is very stable and static, you know, the companies, established players in the marketplace have the advantage of resources, mm. you know, presence, you know, brand, financing. Yeah, but when the environment is rapidly changing, mm. you know, yeah, then the big companies have a disadvantage mm. because they have inertia, mm. they have customers, they have, you know, they have to worry about you know, here and now while the you know, trade is moving. Sure. And so entrepreneurs you know, should you know, normally thrive in a rapidly changing you know, emerging new markets. So in that marketplace, if, you know, if you are coming in, you know, it, if it's a dynamic marketplace, it should sustain several startups. It just, uh, you, know, who, you really don't know what will work. Mm, yeah. yeah. You have a broad idea you know, what the market would need. Yeah. So you know, just to give you my example, yeah. Computers would need networking. Mm. Yeah, yeah, when in 82, when we were doing our startup, we were going to be a networking startup. Mm. But when he's having said that, you know, yeah, what machines you're going to network first, what protocols you're going to use, what technology you're going to use. So there are several you know, companies which come with the different combinations of things. Mm. Uh, but eventually, an entrepreneur who puts together a team, a good team, and you know, gets a financing lined up and starts to understand a different set of trust person you know, needs more specifically, you know, will not only survive, but he's likely to be, be a, more, a winner. So, so it all, always comes back to, you cannot ignore your competition. If your competition, and by the way, you know, it's not a win-lose situation in most cases, there are multiple winners. Mm. You know, you know, it's like you know, having a big, a big playing field, you're playing here, you're playing here, and this marketplace, 
yeah, like I mentioned, has multiple you know, requirements. And when you start to draw, you start to step on each other's toes. Yeah, that's yeah. true. And the, so the issue is that you know you need to start defining what is your differentiation. What is that you bring to the party? And and and, and yeah, of course, yeah, that needs to be validated. You know, the test wants that. Yeah, you know, value that you know, differentiation or not, and. Uh, you should also know what your customer, I mean, your competition's differentiation. What are they touting? Mm. So, so yeah, eventually, yeah, you may step on each other's toe, but as a startup, you stay very sharply focused on your set of customers that you're going after, with your set of technology that you're going after, and if you are smart enough and 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 done your enough your homework, you will find a measure of success to. To survive, and but but you cannot be poo pooing your customer. Yeah, you know, his set of differentiation might be the one that customer eventually really wants. Mm. Yeah, you know, and so you, you have to keep an eye on your customers' needs and your competition's offering also. And uh, it, it's much later, yeah, you know, you know, that you have to you know start preparing for a head-on fight. So I tell people that uh, get out there, start engaging with the customer, start satisfying you know, his needs, listen to what the customer is saying mm. yeah, and wants rather than what you think he, he needs and wants. Mm. Because much, yeah, most of us have no idea you know, where the real pain points are. You know, let yeah. the customer tell you. But you need to get out there early and engage with the customer. Yeah, and so people who spend time you know, perfecting the solutions, you know, they discover that solution they have perfected may not be the one customer wants. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, get out there with half bait yeah, you know, solution. Mm. You, know, you don't have to charge money in the beginning you know, for the first one or two customers. Customer playing with your technology, playing with your offering itself is a very big deal. He's spending time and energy Invest in time and energy in your product, mm. and he'll help you perfect. Right. Okay. That's why I also say half baked product. Yeah. Is because, fun. because you don't know, you know, you know, if the fully baked part that you think a customer needs is the one that mm. customer needs. You bait it with the help of customer. Mm. But how you know seems to me based upon your uh, comments, uh, it is extremely important for customers to re oh, to account for companies to really understand. Customers' pain points or discovery yeah. pain points. Yeah. But how does that kind yeah. of so so what happens? Competition thing? Like I mentioned earlier, a rapidly changing environment. Mm. Your your if you're a customer, your your vendors are not giving you what you need. Mm. Yeah, you know, your needs are evolving, and those vendors are sort of they have a list of you know requests from multiple you know, customers, and they are trying to satisfy them. Yeah, you know, when the when the networking started to happen. Yeah, yeah. If you were all IBM mainframes, you know, IBM offered you a networking for that. Mm. You know, then the unit machines came. IBM didn't connect those unit machines to your your mainframes. Then the PCs came. IBM mm. didn't connect those PCs to your. You know. So now you have a mainframe. You have unit machine. You have PC. You're looking for some relief, and that's very uh, opening for entrepreneurs. It is IBM. IBM's hands are full. Mm, mm, IBM nice. cannot satisfy the different customers need. They look at the broad set of customers and they you know, try to say, hey, 10 people are asking for this thing. So you walk into that customer and say, hey, I can connect that unit machine to your mainframe. I can connect that PC. And that's what we did. Mm, I see. I yeah. see. Yeah, so you offer something that customer needs now yeah, that his main vendor is not willing, is not, not able to offer him now. And, and, and by the way, yeah, startups are not the ones that they should go and say, it, throw out the IBM, adopt me. Because uh, it, it's a risky yeah, thing for a customer to do. You walk in and tell the customer, I know IBM will provide you what you need down the road, but you have pain now and I have a solution now for you. Mm, but that's this, very smart. Yeah, yeah but you become tactical. Yeah, don't bet your future on my survival, but you have this pain. Right now, I have this aspirin for you right now, and uh, let's start. 
So in a sense, actually, you don't treat your competitor as a true enemy. You sometimes no, you don't treat your customers, yeah, yeah, your, your your competition as enemy at all, mm. because sometimes you have a solution to connect your Unix machine to that network, and the, your competition may have a technology you know, that that connects its, the PC to the same network. You know, maybe both of you are required to complete solutions. So you, you know, so you. you know, the word yeah, that we used to use was yeah, you, yeah, you cooperate, you compete. Oh, uh, cooperate, yes, yeah. yes. And, 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 and compete and cooperate. Cooperate, yeah. Uh, the, when you start to t uh, uh, treat people like enemies, yeah, you'll uh, miss out a lot. Mm. And uh, so, so uh, by and large, yeah, you stay focused on customers' need, respect you know, his, uh, uh, his, uh, his his perspective, and then keep an eye on, yeah, hey, where can I compete with, uh, where should I compete with yeah, my yeah, my enemy here, or where should I cooperate with him? Mm. And uh, it may, yeah, may, yeah, we all have ambitions to be bit up eventually, but but that's eventually, you know, here and now, yeah, yeah, yeah. From my own experience, world is too big. Two templates for a startup to be doing everything that customer needs. So he needs other, other yeah, partners in, yeah, in the marketplace. That's very insightful because you kind of uh, also suggest uh, startups also see competitors sometimes creating opportunities for them. Absolutely, right? absolutely. So that's a very, very insightful yeah. perspective. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the startups are fragile, don't have enough resources to do it all, mm. and so they need to pick their battles. They need to pick their opportunities, yeah, and focus on them. Mm. Yeah, not worry about what the other guy is doing. Uh, if I solve problem for ten customers, I can make enough money to pay my employees and and develop some more stuff. Yeah, so you stay very focused on here now. Yeah, yeah. The venture money gives you some runway, but you can't depend on it for very long, right? Yeah, eventually you, know, you have to depend on customer yeah, money, customer cash, you know, yeah. when you sell. And uh, so stay very tactical, stay very tactical you know, in your execution, even though you have a strategy in the back of your, yeah. your, your mind. This is actually, this is very insightful. Mm. For a lot of people, they basically kind of, of course, company to choose uh, between following customer versus following competition, but you say no. Yeah. You know, you can easily do, you should yeah. have to do both, right? You Sometimes. have to do both. Yeah, you get back to survival issues. What do I need to be doing to make my revenue this month to pay my bills this yeah. month? <laughs> That's very true, yeah. yeah. Thank you for watching.